Hello, Mandy. What a thoughtful wife there. Wants to buy her husband fishing tackle for Christmas. Yeah, get get him out even more. Get him get him a bivy and some rods with with bite alarms, so you'll get get rid of him for a week at a time. Then never mind, just a couple of hours in the afternoon. I think it's a it's a difficult one to answer, not because it's a a difficult question, but it's difficult in the sense that you can't always read into where other anglers are at. So the be the best thing to do, and and you might be wanting to surprise him, of course. But the best thing to do is to ask him, what do you want for Christmas? And it might be a, a new a suit, a thermal suit. It might be a new bivy, it might be a rod. It might just be lots of bits and pieces like hooks and leads and things like that, which when you add them up, they can make an amount, uh, a substantial amount in terms of a Christmas gift. But it can be difficult to buy an angler something for Christmas unless you know about fishing and you know exactly what he's into. Hello Colin, obviously being a sea angler previously, you, you're more than half the way there to switching over to, to coarse fishing. It is very different, but it's still fishing. So the same principles apply. As far as floats are concerned, if you look at a, a, a tackle shop advertisement or you go into a tackle shop itself, you read a newspaper, of course, an angling newspaper, you can become confused at the vast array of floats that are on display. There seems to be so many and there are. But if you start from the basic principle of two floats, when I was younger, this is what we used to have. We would have basically a stick float for the river and a waggler for still waters. So you find that both of those floats are constructed in such a way that they either deal with the flowing current or they present the bait better in a still water. Hello, Jeff. We are well into December now, aren't we? The football fixtures continue and it's always a great pleasure to talk about Welsh football in particular. It was, Jeff. That was the, the midweek game, wasn't it, in the Cymru North? They played on Wednesday night and ended 2-2, another late goal as well. And I think we've we've talked a lot about Clandidno in recent weeks. And we've talked about the spirit that they have, obviously, within the team. Never giving up, never say die. Denby are relatively high flyers in the Cymru North at the moment. OK, we've got the big three. They are pulling away from the pack. But they're doing very well themselves. So for Slandidno to get a point against them, I think that was an excellent result. And at the moment, they're on a great run of form, aren't they? They're climbing the table. They're not closer to promotion than relegation because, of course, only one team goes up from that division. But they're in a much healthier position now than they were two months ago.